and welcome to the second day of the fifth edition of the Lunavla International Film Festival of India. Yesterday we had a marvelous opening day and we showed Bokonthi starting the producer NNCP. With me here, I have his son, uh, Mr. Pravesipi, who is co-moderating these sessions with me. Pravesh ji, good evening and welcome. Welcome everyone. I also have with me my dear friend, Mr. Anant Mahadevan, and a man I consider a film encyclopedia, DJ RJ, Divya Solgama. Thank so you. Divya and Anant, both of you welcome. And uh, everyone was confused which one would come. And I said, I know Mr. Nari Sipi's films. Both will come to talk about <laughs> Gumnam. And hopefully both will come to talk about Devta, which is tomorrow, our third day. So over to you, Pravesh ji. Let's start by talking about Gumnam. And like we did last time, first we'll talk a little bit about your dad and then we move into the film. So why did he select Gumnam? I mean, Bo Konthi had established him as a very big A-list producer already. And when and why did he select Gumnam? And why did he choose Raja Navate to direct it? Well, I can, I can answer that question. Um, Raj Khosla said no to the script. Mm. And um, dad was in a tizzy. And then uh, Mr. Raja Navate had not been on a film set for apparently the longest time. He was out yes. of work. And, out of and uh, when dad decided to, to call on him, he just had tears in his eyes and was there. That's it. The movie happened. Um, that's, that's basically how Raja Navayate came in. Uh, why did he choose Gumnam? I think just, just the, the idea that, that must have been, you know, uh, on his table. Maybe some, uh, someone, uh, and I suppose that was uh, Dhruv Chatterjee who probably, uh, you know, brought this. Uh, and it was a fitting continuation in a sense to, to Vokanti. It was a different uh, space, uh, but it was still in the same, you know, yeah. Yes, yes. So uh, that's that's how it happened. And my earliest memory with Gumnam is, uh, I think I've said this many times, I was all of one year old and I was in Helen's arms wow. on the beach in Goa. That's that's my first visit to a film set, Gumnam. Incredible. But uh, Anand sir, I mean, both of us and Divya, all of us know the cinema of NNCP and all of us know the cinema of Raj Khosla. For yes. Raj Khosla, after working with NNCP and Manoj Kumar together in a book on T, to say no to a Gumnam sounds very mystifying to me. I mean, I would have thought it's tailor-made for Mr. Raj Khosla. What do you think, Divya? Do you, do you, do I, you guess, think, you... Uh, I guess that time he was initially going to direct the, you know, the Hindi version of Guide. This could have been the reason. Raj Khosla Sa. Ah. So that could have been the reason for saying no to this film. Or else who will let go this script? Yeah, it's a fantastic script by Dhruv Chatterjee. I mean, you get goosebumps whenever you talk about this film, the screenplay, it's such a fine screenplay. You know, and I don't I think that could be the only reason. With a lot of rewriting by Manoj Kumar Saab, I must admit. I think Even in those days. He, he, he contributed to the writing in Mokonthi and he contributed I mean, tremendously to the writing of Gumna, especially the climax, completely written by Manoj Kumar. I guess he was used to it during the Shaheed days, you know, because even during Shaheed, I mean, he was very much involved in uh, making of uh, the film. And uh, I think Gumnam was one of the first, uh, was it the first Agatha Christie novel to be adapted into a film in India. I mean, and then there were none. So uh, if you see the credits uh, on Google, I mean, they credit both Agatha Christie and Dhruv Chatterjee for it. Yeah. So the script uh, is, uh, you know, uh, credited to both. And uh, of course, uh, it was a classic Agatha Christie. And the first uh, memories that I have of Gumnam is, you, you aren't going to believe this. I saw a projector 
in a department store in Dadra. You know, one of those small little when you keep churning and then, you know, the film runs. And they gave me two reels with it. And one of them was a small portion of Gumdam where the plane is taking off and all the people are running after the plane. So I was so fascinated watching this. I want to know which film is this? You know, and when I learned it was Gumna, of course, I saw Gumna much, much later uh, in my uh, college days at uh, City Light of all cinemas in a rerun. And um, it was uh, jam packed and I managed to get in and in a rerun, it was a house full show. And I uh, watched Gumna and of course... Uh, I mean, I, we don't want to, uh, you know, uh, have any spoilers here for an audience that has not watched it today. But all I can say is I learned that uh, Gungnam was such a big hit in those days that it earned a box office return of 2.75 crores, which yeah. if translated today would be about 275 crores. So that was how big a hit uh, Gumnam was. And... Uh, it was very, very cleverly cast. I mean, they, they put all the red herrings in, you know, they put Pransab and they put Manmohan in, they put everyone in and then you realize who, uh, you know, the, 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 the guy was, who the who, uh, were <laughs> behind it. So it was very cleverly cast, I must say. And uh, of course, Raja Nawati from Gumram to Raja Nawati in uh, Manchili was a long trip for all of us. And it's so wonderful to be talking about Gumnam here. So uh, that's about it. I mean, over to you, Divya. You must be having so much more to say. Well, I, I, since you mentioned your story, so even I remember watching it as a kid uh, on, but very, very late. Uh, Doordarshan, pe they used to show on, you know, every Sunday evening, movies used to come. Yeah, but it was an adult film and they used yeah. to cutting stuff on Doordarshan, you know. I so, remember how they cut Padma Khanna's song from Johnny Mehra Nam when they showed <laughs> it on Doordarshan. So I would have imagined how they would have chopped off stuff from uh, Gumnam. But I, I remember the experience, you know, uh, like the writing, the reason I'm talking about Dhruv Chatterjee, Manoj Kumar Saab and even Raja Nawadeh and even K.H. Kapadia is because they suck you inside the film. They want you to fall in for, ke bhai, is pe shak karo, is pe shak karo. And the moment you do that, you die in the next scene. Mein mar gaya. And then you are like, what happened to you? So you do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do and then there is none. That's the only thing that comes. And you are confused, ke bhai, kaise hua? Ye kaise ho gaya? And when the suspense is revealed hota hai, with that unconnecting shot of the dining table and everything, it was fun. But I still remember that experience. And when I grew old, I started re-watching these films. Ke, you know, the directors, they always keep some uh, pointers. Like Ra, uh, Vijay Anand, if you look at uh, Jewel Thief, to every scene where the, there was a shot where he left a clue for all of you, for all of us. Same thing was done out here also. There were clues, but writing was so powerful that you forget that thing. You know that pe pinpoint ho hai. Phir bhi aap bhool jate ho, aap film mein kho jate ho. And music. So you also mentioned about the um, uh, this one, you know, the box office numbers. I just found out from a friend of mine. He said that Gumnam had two silver jubilees. In a year where you had some fantastic films like Arzu, Vak, Jab Jab Pool Ke Le, Himale Ki God Me, every film was doing like Silver Jubilees. Gumna had two cinema halls Silver Jubilee, despite of being an A-rated film. And that poster, still, I think one of the yes. finest poster you have, Pran yeah. Saab's leg, or yes. uske beech mein se camera. Though movie mein, it's just Nanda, Nanda Ji. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But in on poster, you have Manoj Kumar and Nanda together. But that poster... Gumnam is Gumnam. Yes, iconic indeed, indeed. It was it, it was definitely Nanda's year. She had Jab Jab Pool Kili and Gumnam in the same year, and it catapulted her right straight where she needed to be. But I want to say something. When you did Bokonti, Manoj Kumar was junior. Sadna was the diva. Sadna was the prima donna. But when you did Gumnam, it was Manoj Kumar who was the biggest star to Nanda even though she may have started earlier. So what is it about NNCP that he just does these mix and matches all the time intuitively for the film? It's, it's, it's just that. It's just that, as you said, he, he always went with his gut feel. He believed That's in himself. And and no matter what, I mean, going a little off Gumnam, I remember it's, it's a story about a film that we're going to showcase uh, down the line in this tribute. But uh, uh, since it is part of this tribute, I'm... I'm saying the story in, in context of this, when he planned Chormachai Shore, 
हिज डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर्स एक्चुअली सेड एक लूला एक लगना एक अंधा को लेके आप करके 